I'm Dave Ford and in this screencast I'm going to show how easy it is to take a video that we found on YouTube and then to chop it so that we only show a certain short section of it and then we're going to embed it into PowerPoint and this is very easy to do it's free you don't need to download any tools and uh, you don't have to own the videos you can use any videos you like so first of all I've gone to YouTube and I found a video that I want to chop. Now in this case, I'm going to chop one of my own, but I could use anybody else's. I don't have to be my own videos. Now the first thing we need to do is find the URL or the web address for this video. Now usually it will be whatever's at the top, but occasionally you get other bits of information in there which we don't want. So what I'm going to do is having found my video, I go to this button here that says share, and then I copy that address there. And that will give me the exact URL uh, for that video. I'm then going to go to the website called www.tubechop.com so t-u-b-e-c-h-o-p.com and I paste in the search box and what it should do is find for me the, uh, the YouTube video that I want so I can click on that and it will now bring that video up in the TubeChop uh, environment and you'll see it still says it's YouTube here and you can play the video. I'm just going to pause it for a second. Now what you can do is, if I just scroll down, is you can watch the video and you've got this slider bar here so I can use this to drag the start point. So I know for example I want just to chop say starting at about 2 minutes and 10 seconds so I can drag my thing there and then when I pause Having it will just start playing it automatically. Right, we very easily go file Okay, and again with the end point I can either drag the end slider in or if I know what the time is that I want to end it at I can just type it in there. So here I've got a video um, and I only want to show 25 seconds of it starting at 2 minutes and 10 and ending at 2 minutes and 35. I'm going to click on update. Have I can then watch it, check it's right. Got the settings right. Okay, I'll just pause that for now and then I chop it. Now the video will still remain on YouTube, all it is doing is creating a link to it um, which has the start and end points marked. Now what we need to do is we need to copy the embed codes. This is the top box here so I click once to select and I'm going to go control and, A, uh, control and C to copy. Now I'm going to use um, something like notepad, you could use word or you could use um, notepad or something similar. This is that embed code that I've just copied. Now it looks quite complicated and quite scary, but we need a certain part of it. Now the bit that we need is I need to read through, and I'm looking for the term SRC equals. And immediately after that, inside inverted commas, is a long address. And that is what I want. So I find the SRC equals, I then find the inverted commas, and I copy what's inside the inverted commas. And you don't need the inverted commas, you just need what's inside it. So I've done that, and you can either go edit and copy, or control C, uh, what have you. I'm now going to go into PowerPoint. I've got a new slide, and if I'm in uh, Office 2007, I need to use the Developer tab. Now if that's not automatically showing, in my case it is, you go to the top button there, you go to PowerPoint Options, and then you tick that box there that says Show Developer Tab in Ribbon. Okay. Well, mine's already showing, so I click on Developer. I then go to this button here that says More Controls. It's like a picture of a hammer and a spanner. And it'll give me a list of lots of different things that I can embed. Now the thing that we're after is called a Shockwave Flash Object. So I scroll down, Shockwave Flash Object. And OK. I'm then going to describe the shape roughly that I want it. I'm then going to right click and go properties. And in this box that appears here, where it says movie, I can just paste that code that I had earlier. I can close that down. If I then go to slideshow and from current slide, you'll see here's my um, embedded uh, tubed chopped video. When I'm in the presentation, I can just click on the play button and it will play. And I think that's a very nice way of using video in, in sort of presentations because quite often you don't want the whole video, you just want a very short snippet of it. And you can chop it using that me method there.